not present, so I give the floor to the UPR Info. Mr. President, with the third cycle just around the corner, numerous actors have engaged in discussions on what the next five years might look like. A luncheon was organized last November by the Permanent Mission of Germany, OHHR and UPR Info, to which 60 ambassadors participated as well as the High Commissioner. A couple of weeks ago, Turkey and the Universal Rights Group, in cooperation with UPR Info, held a lunch in the framework of the Glion Dialogue. And currently, the, present, the President is holding informal consultations with states and regional groups, and we hope soon with NGOs. In terms of concrete changes, a decision will be taken next week to start the third cycle in April-May 2017. While this decision might seem merely technical, it is important to understand that now the time span between two reviews of a same country will be five years. So this decision will move from the four year that was decided at the beginning of the, of the mechanism when it was created to now five years in between two reviews of the same country. It's important to underline this shift and to ensure that this length doesn't get extended in the future. Mr. President, we believe informal consultations and discussions on how to improve the process are useful, but states do not need to wait for a council decision or a resolution to engage positively in the process. Actually, numerous good practices at the UPR have been developed by one state and then followed by others without action from the council. Bahrain and Colombia with follow-up reports, Paraguay with the CIMORE database, UPR national consultations between government and civil society in many countries such as recently Thailand. Other examples of good practices include reporting on all received recommendations, developing national follow-up mechanisms, including coordination mechanisms for reporting, and holding dialogue days with all stakeholders after the review to discuss the implementation of recommendations. All those good practices do not require any action from the Council, but from States. We hope that a five-year cycle will not impact will not impact on the stakeholders' engagement with the UPR, but will provide stronger impact on the ground. Thank you. Thank you very much.